This is Neil Davis. Like a good dad, he's trying to teach his teenage daughter Demi how to drive. We went to Leafy Surrey to find out how they were getting on. So Neil and Demi, I mean, this looks friendly enough, but you've been going out doing the driving lessons. How's that been going? He's a bit judgmental. <laughs> Has a go at me a lot. Um, obviously, because he's going to care more than my driving instructor will, being my dad. He does get angry, and then it makes me want to just turn around and go home. I think if she'd had no lessons at all, I wouldn't have gone out. Not with without dual controls in the car. Well, she's like my, my, my only girl. She's like my princess at the end of the day, so it's like I'm worried about her <laughs> going out on her own. <laughs> I think I'm going to follow her around for a little while, I think. Everyone's been there. Like, you know everyone gets annoyed with learners. Everyone has to start off as a learner at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Even you, Dad. I was a better learner than you, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. You don't you ain't got like. I'm not going fast. Being their boot. Just feels like you're a bit too eager on that accelerator, then. Yeah, but all. I can't help it. I'm used to my driving instructor's car. I know. I'm on this car. I know. God, I see it. My God, no wonder I've got nowhere. Right, slow down a bit. This isn't going fast. No, I know. Just slow down a bit. There's no need to go. There's no one there. Oh, I feel like I'm pushing my foot through the floor all the time, wanting to try and brake. Am I going right and left? Right. Put your wipers on. I did. No, that's just... That's just, um... Push it up, no, push it up, push it up once, once. That's it. All right, check, we're clear. Oh, yeah. I'll wait. Wait, wait, wait! <sighs> See, that's another reason why you've got to always make sure you indicate as well, because... Why do I do? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying to you. Other than me having a heart attack and putting my foot through the floor, it's a nice drive. Now, Demi is taking her mock test tomorrow morning, but what her dad doesn't know, and we haven't told him yet, is that he is also going to be taking his mock test. So, let's see how he goes with that. Keep it a secret, yeah? Shh. It's a bit of a grim day to be doing a test. It is Demi's big day, so we'll see how she's feeling about that. But we haven't dropped the bombshell to Neil yet that he'll also be sitting his test, so we're going to go and see how he receives that news. Come with me. Test time! Hello! So, Demi, how are you feeling? Are you all set? Yep, I'm ready. You're ready? Yep. And how do you think you would do if you were to retake yours? Yeah, piece of cake. I hope you still think the same as that, because um, we've got a little surprise for you. All oh, right, OK. You're going to be taking your test as well today. Oh, no way. <laughs> right, we'll leave you to get set. Demi, come with me. So as we leave Neil to absorb that bombshell, Demi's off to take her test. I think she'll be fine. If she can keep on top of her nerves. It's a nervous time for, for people taking their tests. The weather isn't great. It's good affect her, but I think she'll be fine. I really don't think he's going to pass his test. I don't think he's as good as a driver as he thinks he is. I just feel like where he's been driving for so many years, he's picked up so many bad habits that um, if it come to doing a real test right now, I don't think he'd have, have any chance. Because it's so strict now, I just don't think that he would. Yeah, at the moment, I feel like I'm a better driver than he is, to be honest. I, don't, I wouldn't tell him that, <laughs> but I do feel like that. Oh, they're back. No, thank you. If you turn off the engine, I'll just add up these uh, things and tell you God. I don't know. Add them up. <laughs> what do you reckon? Fail. Oh, OK. I hope so. <laughs> Smug face on. Right, let's have a, ch <laughs> let's have a, ch a chat with the guy in charge here. Grant, how'd they get on? Bad news, I'm afraid. They both failed. Oh, dear, Demi. How do you feel about that? Um, a bit disappointed, but uh, I'll learn from it. She was fine, but she just clipped a curve on her manoeuvre. Right, OK. And what about her dad? A few more mistakes, I'm afraid. Drove reasonably well, but made far too many mistakes. Far too fast. Far too fast in small side roads when we needed to slow down a little bit. 
driving with one hand a lot of time, leaving right. his hand on the gear stick. All right. And mirror work. There was no mirror work. Have you learnt a few things from doing this? Yeah, carry on driving how I am, really. You're not changing, though. <laughs> no. like, you're only teasing, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, of course I am. Seriously, if you maybe don't practice those bad habits in front of her, it's... Yeah, yeah. Gonna... Obviously, it's going to help, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck with the real deal Thank when you. you come to it. And you're still on the road, so um, just give me a warning before yeah, you're on them, and I'll know to steer clear. No problem. <laughs> All right. Thanks for that, Grant. It's Absolutely okay. brilliant. I'll let you guys go in because yeah. it's not the nicest or warmest of days, no. so I'll let you I'll let you warm up okay. with a cuppa or something. Yeah. All right. Lovely. Thanks so Thank much. Yeah. Bye. Cheers. Well, you know, lessons to be learnt there, particularly from experienced drivers. We can all get into bad habits. I do it, no doubt you do it as well. So if you are planning on taking a teenage driver out for a lesson, it's important to remember that you may have slipped into your own bad habits and not to pass them on. Things to be particularly mindful of include not checking mirrors, heavy braking, sliding steering, not using the handbrake, and driving with one hand on the wheel. Above all else, when you do begin a lesson with a teenage learner, try and stay calm. Good luck. Bye-bye.